Awesome. All right, guys, welcome back. It's Liam or Hydra's Nick Neely here. We've got uh, another interview today. I'm with Druck. He was uh, one of the HCS pro players that competed in our charity cup um, a weekend ago. Uh, I want to take a quick second to chat with him, get a little bit of an overview of what he thought about the competition, also his background. So, Druck, want to give us a bit of a, a rundown on yourself? Oh, uh, yeah. My, my gamer tag is uh, Druck RN, and I started playing Halo 5 in like mid 2016. That's when I like started competing, and uh, I've just been uh, attending events ever since. and. Uh, since, like, Halo 5 ended, I've been playing Fortnite, but I'm looking to come back in Infinite. Yeah, awesome. So you said you've been playing Fortnite for the last little bit? Uh, yeah, for like a year now. Awesome, a longer than a year. Well, are you just as good as you are at Halo? Uh, yeah, I think so. It's around the same. <laughs> so it's just the natural gaming ability that you've got? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> awesome, man. And, uh, so what was the first competition that you went to? Uh, like, the first line I went to, like, very first line was G4G 2017. Awesome. And so did you do the 4v4 there or just free-for-all stuff? Or like what did you uh, do? Yeah, we did the 4v4. It was like me, Contra, Aranda, and uh, Scotty Cloud. Awesome. Yeah, how did you guys go? Uh, I think I think Randa and Scotty drove and then uh, I came with Musa too. So uh, Musa was also at the event. Yeah, cool. And placing-wise? Uh, we won. You won? There you go. Yeah, it, was, it was just like a local though. <laughs> yeah, but still, that's your, your first event, man. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I guess, did, did you go to any of the, the bigger ones like after that? Oh, uh, yeah. After that, my first like major event was like Daytona. Yeah, sweet. What was the placing like there? Uh, we got... We lost uh, to make it into Chamber Racky. We lost uh, top... We got top 20, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, awesome, six man. To get you yeah, and so coming in for Infinite, how are you preparing? Just playing Fortnite, or have you got like a? Do you think that it's worthwhile um, putting more time into Halo Five or the MCCs, or what, what do you think is the best way to prepare? Uh, I mean, I don't play. Uh, I don't play like MCC, but like I, I like to watch it, just like include, like just like learn some things about like classic Halos, but like I don't really play it. But like I, I'll watch like the tournaments and like the MCC Pro Series and like when people play AIDS. Just to, like, yeah. learn a little bit. And then, like, I'll yeah. play, like, Halo 5 8 or watch them, too, whenever, uh, yeah. like, everyone's playing. Yeah, but, cool. yeah, I'm still, like, focusing on Fortnite, like, no, mostly, because uh, there's still, there's still like, two competitive seasons left before Infinite, so I'm looking to go all out before coming back. Awesome. Love to hear that, man. Love to hear that. Uh, it's, it's very rare, though, I think, for Halo players. I think Halo players are super one-minded when it comes to being... Um, I guess competitive at something and um, it's it's like I mean it's computer gaming it's not like it's uh, with other sports where uh, you know if you're training for let's say basketball it'd be very hard to be at a really high level for basketball but then also do it for another sport whereas computer gaming wise if the seasons are off or something like that you can easily kind of change what you're doing or put a little bit more time into something else so it's good to see that you've got a natural competitive spirit that kind of just keeps putting you into other places but um what, what did you think about the charity cup that we did the other day? Did you think it was a cool event? Uh, yeah, I thought, I thought it was a cool event. I thought it was really fun to play, like, Halo 5, like, in the competitive setting besides, like, Money 8. So, like, play, like, tournament Halo 5 plays so much different from, like, Scrims or even, like, Money 8 with, like, all pros too. Like, it's just, like, a different type of Halo. Like, it's more, yeah. like, disciplined, like, composed. Uh, and, like, people are just, like, try, trying harder to... Yeah, and I think that's a, a that's the hardest thing about trying to play um, Halo 5 at the moment is that you, you've got a certain amount of people that would love to be taking it that, that seriously and having that much kind of focus and intent on, on what they're doing. But uh, it's, imp it's almost impossible even when you go into just normal eights to have a full lobby of the same people that are kind of thinking like-minded and putting the same effort into things. So um, it's good that we could kind of get you guys together to play in that competition. And uh, we raised some money for some good causes along the way as well, which is great. So um, donations haven't quite been made yet because we're just waiting for some money to transfer between our accounts. But I'll make a little notification once that happens. Um, in, in the lobby, who was kind of the, the player that you were um, like, have you played with all of those guys before? Or was there a standout that you were kind of happy to play with? Uh, well, I've never like played with them like a tournament setting, but we always play like money, money eights. And uh, money is together, like, 
everyone's like been on the same team with everyone at this point. Like, but yeah, uh, yeah it's just, it was just fun to play play with them. To be honest, uh, I like playing with uh, Kevin a lot. Eco. Yeah, cool, awesome. That's good to hear. And uh, I guess when you did you watch the uh, gameplay review for Infinite? Uh, yeah, I, I watched the like the one melee trailer, and then I watched the gameplay trailer. Uh, I thought they were both really good. I, I like both of them. Yeah, awesome. So, what what were your thoughts like on all the different weapons and everything as well? Do you think that that type of thing is going to be a good thing to have in Halo Infinite? Um, yeah, cause like uh, like I feel like the sandbox, like from what we saw from the gameplay demo, I feel like the sandbox is going to be like really like bigger than we think. Cause like, and the community updates that they posted, they're talking about like variations of weapons and like, uh, and like you already saw like five or six like new weapons and like in the Infinite demo. Like imagine like when the full game releases like. How many weapons yeah. are going to be and like the variations of them like it's just going to yeah. be like a lot of variety for them especially like for battle royale if they choose to have that like that would be huge yeah yeah awesome well because i think the, one of the things that i was thinking about um was i've been seeing people post comparisons between like destiny like and the uh, halo 5 the campaign kind of um gameplay review that they did and and like i can see the similarities there but um i actually i personally think that if they could manage to do halo in that kind of style that that would be a really big win for bringing more people to what, what do you think about it being um free to play as well that's some new information as well uh, I, I think that's huge i think that's really big especially considering the fact that they announced crossplay for mcc coming so if there's like crossplay for mcc then i'm assuming they're like testing it for like infinite of Infinite's free to play on like Xbox and uh, like Steam, Xbox uh, yeah. Like you're gonna have so many keyboard and mouse players. You're gonna appeal to like so many different communities that like that's like the first step of getting like Halo back to like a, like the top game. Like, I, I feel like being free to play like that's why Fortnite is so big and like League of Legends like. And oh, then you man, just 100%. like fun through like microtransactions. Yeah, well, I think that that was that was the thing I was a bit confused about because they said somewhere along the line as well that they're not going to have microtransactions. Yeah, I, I think I read that too, but I think it was like a form of like microtransactions. Like they didn't say like no overall. I think so. I'm not sure. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we'll I mean, it's yeah. I think I feel like personally, the microtransactions I think are, are like an embedded. It's almost like the it's the recipe for success at the moment is you have a free-to-play game but then you if you i mean i guess it's really it's the same with anything if you have good content whether it be really cool weapon skins really cool armor skins really cool you know new armor things that are cosmetic um you know like obviously you play fortnite so you can understand how that works as well you've got kids that are willing to spend so much money just to have the newest skins you know to get released with each season or or however they, they come out whereas you know, Halo hasn't really had that before, and it's it seems like they kind of wanted to do it with the way that they did like the rec packs and everything in Halo 5, but it just didn't have the same kind of, you know, like, you're not like, hey, that looks really cool, I want that. And same with like Call of Duty and the different weapons skins that you can unlock just by the achievements and everything. Like, if Halo can nail that stuff, I think it'll be a really good way to keep the people that they're going to bring in and having it cross-play and having um, so many different ways of doing it. So I think it's a really exciting time for Halo as well, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, from a, I guess, the standpoint um, going between now and Infinite, we're doing a number of things to kind of try and build our brand. Obviously, running events is one of them. Um, we have a, an Instagram montage competition that we do every month as well, uh, where we give away uh, $150 and just some cash uh, to people that can put together 60-second clips, and then we post it on our Instagram. Um, but we also do the free-for-all competitions, 2v2s and some 4v4s. Um, from your perspective, do, what what would you like to see from orgs like uh, like Divine Mind that we could kind of do between now and Infinite that you think would help the community? Um, just to uh, keep giving like people something to play. Like, uh, people are asking for Halo Five tournaments. Like, they're not like the people like the, the community still split right now between like Halo Five and Halo Three, or like the classic Halos. They're like, if you just give people something to play like on Halo Five, they'll, they'll play it and like destroy your community by doing that. It's gonna have like this X amount of people like sign up every tournament going up or hopefully leading up to Infinite. Especially because Infinite's like advanced movement, so people are gonna be playing Halo 5 to get, get like informed. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Well, uh, that was pretty much everything. Is there anything you wanted to add? Um, is there anywhere that obviously you're streaming and do you have a YouTube channel, Instagram, that type of stuff that you want to shout out that I can put uh, in a link for people to kind of go and find out more about you and what you do? 
Oh uh, yeah, sure. My Twitch is a uh, drug eighty four, and my YouTube is just a uh, drug. We probably have to search up like drug Fortnite or something for it to come up. I don't know, but yeah, yeah, those are like my two like main things that I post on besides like Twitter. Awesome, man. Well, like I said, thank you so much for taking the time to have a chat with me. I know you're a busy man. You got a lot going on. Uh, for everyone that watched this, thank you so much for making it this far through. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a comment. Give me some um, other questions that you'd like. If I didn't ask everything that you'd like to know about uh, the players that we get to talk to, make sure that uh, you are in the Discord and following to make sure you can keep up with all the stuff that we're doing. Like I said, we're constantly doing events. Um, sometimes I almost forget how much we've got going on. So make sure that uh, you're a part of that so that you keep up with it obviously we're posting things on instagram and on twitter as well so you can jump into those i'll leave drux links in the description to the video so you can easily click down there and have a look um but uh, thank you so much again for everybody drug thank you so much for your time uh, and we'll see you guys in the next interview